Good afternoon. The uh, uh, I'm going to grab something here. Excuse me. I want to show you what we're going to make today. <laughs> Look at this. I have a dozen of these fun cards we're going to make. So I just had to do my little preview now that I messed that all up. For Karen, time. Karen doesn't need to have an excuse <laughs> to get close to her husband. Yeah, I, I was trying to. We're on Ms. Lake because I was trying to figure out how to unzoom. I feel like we're so close in and I cannot. So I printed off these directions. Eh, didn't do anything. So <laughs> we're we're just trying. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a cool day here. So I'm glad some of you guys are having gorgeous days. But we're just glad it's spring. Yes. <laughs> so welcome. Today is we're doing, I'm calling this like use up your paper stash because, you know, there's a new catalog coming. Uh, I'll be sending them out in April. They start in May and there's gonna be all kinds of new papers. So we need to make some room. And I love doing things with pattern paper. And the thing is to play along, you don't need to have any of the same stuff I have, any pattern paper at all. So I love doing classes like this where we all make something together and then we can see all your finished projects also over in the Backport Stamper. So, but first. We've got mail and I'm Tim. We've got mail. <laughs> and who are you? <laughs> and I'm Karen. And we'll where, do. Where are we from? We love. Stepping on the back porch. We love getting viewer mail. This is from Daryl Nicholson from Pennsylvania. Uh, oh, a pocket card. Oh, oh, is this adorable? <gasps> this note. is her note. Oh, this is. Oh, and she's got a wonderful little note in here. And this is her pocket card. Is this adorable? And I love that bunny. That is so cute. And I love how she's added her little tag. Oh, that is a gorgeous card. Oh, what a fun card. Floppy and this is the ears. layout that we did maybe two, two weeks ago. It's just one piece of paper folded up. Oh, I just love those like that. Oh. And then we have Ginger Favre from New York. And a fun note. I got to go back and uh, read all these notes. But oh, fun. Look at this. This is a split card. Do you see how out of a sheet of eight and a half by 11, you cut your paper this way and you'll get two cards and Fold then it's it. scored and folded in. I love what you did with that. That is so fun. And it's she's pretty, just highlighted the paper, cut out parts. Paper. One of my favorite things to do. That is so fun. Love that. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I just love getting all these things. Then we have Janet Frederick from Louisiana. Oh, and an adorable um, St. Patrick's Day card. So that was so much fun <laughs> to do last week. And I love this. <laughs> uh, this is a retiring stamp set. That is really cute from, I don't remember the name of it, but it's got that guy on there. That is really fun. No, that guy is Timothy Otitis. Okay, there's Timothy Otitis with your pot of gold at yes, the end of the rainbow. That's right. Okay, there, there's a storybook in there. Yes. That, I love that. That is so fun. And you look at a character like that and you think of all the different things you can make them be. I just love how she's made that St. Patty's Day card. That is fabulous. Oh, how fun is that? So is this a part of your 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 gift? Your uh, your uh, what do you call them? Is that no, good? that's just another little gem. She's okay. from you know, which is see a little this four, little three leaf clover. How cute is that? And I'm just uh, Diane. No, I'm going to interrupt here. Diane Bataraco just said you're trying to catch while working. I, and I thought I better mention your name because you actually won last week's this adorable stamp set. Each week I give away and it's just for commenting, sharing, getting involved. However, uh, this adorable spring and retirement celebratory stamp set. I just think these characters are just the cutest. <laughs> this makes me think of Tim with the camera because yes. you, you, you know, you love taking the photographs. I love to I travel. Do. Neither of us dance, and but I, I just think this is so I have cute. Golf, you have, I, you have I golf. It, I'm not um, good at it. No, <laughs> and I'm a hacker. So Diane, just message me your address. I'll pop it in the mail. And so while I'm on that, we'll keep interrupting here. And this is this is what the giveaway is. We're seeing all these adorable Easter friends card. This is an older retired set, and I don't know. Might have been just last year. I don't remember, but springtime joy. And are these adorable little? So I thought we'd do these for spring too. This is another adorable Easter set. And this is the drawing for this week. So the winner will be announced next week. Okay, back to our cards. So how fun is that? Um, oh, I, didn't do, I didn't do this one yet. Oh, fun. Okay, Debbie Wheeler from Wisconsin. Oh, I love simple cards. 
And she's doing the 40 cards for Lent challenge. I love it. Oh, a whole bunch of us are doing that. And just think together of how many cards we're sending out. Isn't that fun? And I just want to point out, this is, this was the designer series paper that was free in celebration. And look how she has mm. just run that through in a bossing folder. I like that. And it makes it look more like a canvas. Mm -hmm. um, so just an easy way to just step up what paper looks like and the little butterfly that is perfect. Did she, did she stamp that? Yep, that's or? just stamped. Yep. It's stamped. Okay. Yep. And then we have Brandy Ann Luz Luzawa from Illinois. Oh, how cute is that? She's thanking me for her birthday cards. How fun is that? You know, a bunch of us send birthday cards to each other from the back porch stampers. It's totally a volunteer kind of thing. But I wanted to point out her fun. This actually looks like it could be a pocket card because doesn't this remind you of the pocket cards that we did where this part would slip in? But look at what a fun design element that is. She's just got her piece of paper in a triangle and then her sentiment up here. These dyes are on the retiring list, and I love these dyes. I love how they light layer. Look how you've got that place for your message and that beautiful background. And then she has that stamp. So you use those a lot. I do. It's one of my favorite, favorite. I have to put up my favorite dyes. There are two of my favorite dyes that I use all the time that are on the retiring list, too. So I, I'm trying to do that on. Are these verses back there, or what are they? Um, it's. Uh, like poetry, just words. I don't know that you could really read it, but it's the idea of scripting mm -hmm. behind. Um, Monday night, we're going to walk through the catalog and show a card for each of the retiring sets, if I have one. And then our last one is Susan Peterson from Wisconsin. Ooh, and this is really a fun card too. That is so fun. And she's thanking me for one of the gifts. We do a drawing each week also in the back porch stampers, just for anyone, uh, you're in the drawing if you share an idea, we put up a weekly challenge. So whatever I do on Thursday, people share their interpretation of that idea. And then we do a little drawing for that. And so we get lots and lots and lots of extra ideas in there. So you want to make sure you, you do that. But I love how this paper is done. Look how cool that is yep. there and there. This paper and the stamp set are also on the retiring list. So they're very fun. And I love the wildly grateful when he doesn't look wildly grateful. It just is so fun. I just love it. It's a great, great card. Yes, Jean said the stitch so sweetly. That would be my other die that's retiring that I totally, totally am going to miss. So make sure if there's anything on the retired list that you is on your list to get it soon before they go out, um, especially dies, punches, you know, as things run out, like a couple of the refills are already gone on the in color. So anything you're wanting, don't delay because we never know. And I don't know any more than you do whether things are going to be available. And this is part of the card kit for this month. So just a reminder, when you place an order, you get a fun card kit for me. And the host code is this. And our sentence today is from Sean Smith. Uh, just kind of a sassy comment here. And I'm, I'm pretty sassy, so it totally fits. Just not joining your nine silly zagging girls. <laughs> so I just have to read it in a sassy way. because it just, it just made sense. So for today... All you really need is an 11 inch square piece of designer series papers. You're cutting off an inch at the top and an inch on the side. I think that is really cool. And then what we're going to make, I'm sorry, so this is the card. I'm going to show you uh, a couple of the cards and then I'm going to show you nine more after we make them. So you're going to stay. I, I just love seeing things done in a variety of ways. This is just fun. It's kind of a little poofy card, but. I don't know that it will take extra postage. Someone will have to tell me, but I just think it's a fun card. It's worth it. It's square, so you're going to need a little. But it is four and a quarter, so it would probably fit in a regular envelope. I didn't check that. So it's, I believe it's four and a quarter square here. I think I should be right. And look how it opens. Isn't Ooh. this fun? It Whoa. is one sheet of paper. That's cool. And, so, and then I'm going to tell you, because I love telling you, don't focus too much on the measurements. I already cut out all my four inch squares for this. So I, I went with that. But if you look at this, it could have been four inch by four and a quarter to be perfect. So you could change to that, but I decided to leave it because I had my paper cut and because it, it's also a lesson point that it really doesn't matter. You just go with what works for you because <laughs> it looks fine. And you might not have even noticed had I not pointed that out. So, <laughs> so how fun is that? It, so, and it looks so complicated. You're going to love. Put it back together. I want to okay. see how it fits. See? It's just going to fold right back in and this tucks in. Okay. And that tucks over. So this could be cute too if you were doing it. Okay. Like if I were hanging this from a bag, 
you could put an extra little card in here. This could hang. So a lot uh -huh. of those images are hidden in there. You don't see them until you open it up. Right. You don't see the inside. So this is kind of like um, you could just put this on a gift gift wrap, like in a, a present or something. It wouldn't mm -hmm. even need the envelope. I just think it's really, I think it's really stunning. Okay. So here's one that's really a cute version. That's kind of a fun, pretty version. This is the Badger Besties. All of you from Wisconsin, you know, you want that stamp set. Um, it is so cute, these little badgers, and it is also retiring. And this paper is the party pattern paper, which is one of the hostess selections. So that will be retiring. But then look how cool it is. We just, oh, I should, I'll have you open the next one, Tim. Okay. Hmm. And so then I use these from the same stamp set. It's your turn to be celebrated. So what is this Happy again? Birthday. The ba badgers. Isn't that cute? Badgers besties? Yeah. How about the glorious gophers? Uh, well, uh, you know, they should, you should put that we in should. the idea box. So there's we that should. guy and see, I have to even find the pieces in this one and then a dancing one. Mm -hmm. So it's just an adorable set. You want to see if you can put that together <laughs> while he's doing that. What I did this design a couple of years ago and Lori born trigger, she, she immediately said, well, Karen, couldn't you just make that into a gift packet instead? Okay. So here's the same thing. How cute is this? And I'm not even doing the inside here because this is going to hold a gift. So two ideas in one here. Oh, I don't know if it's, I don't think I did it right. Well, it's good except for this. Oh, okay. See, one will go in the back so oh, that you see. see. This is another card where you're seeing both sides of the paper mm -hmm. would be the reason. So isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. And then here is the very same as a gift bag. So... Connie's on here and she says, she's giving a thank you for her mom. She got so many cards from the Backport Stampers group. She had helped carrying them to her car for her 86th birthday. That's another thing we like to do when people know someone personally, like somebody celebrating an older, you know, my mom's going to be turning 98 in the fall and I'll be putting that in there. Uh, it, it's just fun when there's special things or if you have a friend in need, it's for like personal connections of people you know. We love sending cards for that. Um, Karen turns... 72 yes on a month from tomorrow oh oh see tim would know those things i would not now i no, will say no. oh do you know what no, i need no, tim no two months two okay. months i'm sorry i i need something i need yeah. my scoring board from the table out there i moved to the other room the i will board. say if you have a scoring you know the big scoring board yes um, oh, well, or you can use your cutter with anything that you have with scoring is going to help this. I'm going to use the big scoring board just because it's faster for me uh, because I'm more comfortable with it, but it could also use the scoring blade on your cutter. So here's my 11 by 11 and we're going to do a taco fold. So we're going to put that over and I need to find my... And then I'm, we're going to sit in silence. No, we're not. <laughs> While I wait for Tim. Okay. You didn't want the pieces that were on there. Oh, no. No, that's okay. I'm already on to the next project out there. And, you know, it, um, I wonder if we can make this a little bit taller no. Here, without making people dizzy. Okay, now, that's enough. Good. Okay. Um, just so you can see this better. You know, it's interesting because I do these projects and then I have to take photos, you know, it's just a whole long process. So I always have them up by the next day. I mean, that's my intent anyway. Um, uh, so you'll always have the directions there. And then I just put the score, what you're going to score. They'll be in the show notes for this too. So uh, Sean says, Tim threw me for a moment. I thought Karen's birthday was in May. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Tim starts celebrating two early. months earlier. Two months early. <laughs> How funny is that? Yeah, it's May 25th. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> Tracy said she'd already cased this from my, one of my other videos. I said, I just love it. You, you know, it, I just, I just think it's so fun. And now when we get new papers, everything's going to be different again. Okay. So here's what we're going to do first. Now I have to get my thoughts back on here. Been sidetracked enough, um, but that's okay, Tim. We're a little, we're a little off, but we'll live we with are. it. Cause see, that's all off, but probably makes people dizzy to watch us change. So we'll live with it. I'm going to put my fold right on here because what I'm going to score at is four and a quarter. Ooh. Okay. I'll make one. And sometimes it's easier if you watch the first time and then make one with me the second time. So that way I'll go through this one quickly because we'll do it again. Okay. I'm going to score that. 
And then I'm going to put it this way and I'm going to score. There aren't very many measurements we have to know here and I should have printed these out. Actually, Tim, I could have you, I could have you do that. Let's have you write. He's got much better handwriting than I do have. Would you put three and a quarter and five and a half on there? So if someone needs to do a screenshot, they can do that. And then I'm going to score this. So here it is, three and a quarter and five and a half are the two measurements that I've done there. And then, you know, I'm going to flip it and do the same on the other. So I'm going to do three and a quarter and five and a half. Okay, I'm done with this for now. So we do the next card. I'm going to fold these. So this is what my card looks like right now. Now, when I open it, you're going to see I have these little, I have these little triangles right at the top. Now, that's the only cutting I'm going to do. Do you realize this card has no adhesive? And this is the only cut. So talk about easy. And since we're using 11 by 11, it uses up a whole stash of things. But if you use these for little gift packets, they would be fun to have just um, you can have a little basket of these sitting for whatever you need a little thing. Um, the other measurement is four and a quarter. Okay, I'm just going to cut those out. Okay, that is it. The rest of this card is just folding. Now, this is what's really cool. Do you see how this is going to fold in like this? But this is what we're going to take. We have these flappy things. Look at this. I'm going to open it up and turn it into a diamond like that. I'm going to put this one on top of it and I'm going to do the same thing. Now, how cool is that? I'm going to take the top one, stick it in there. The bottom one goes behind and this is our fold. So how cool is that? So now when we open it up, This is where I'm going to put the papers. And I'm not going to deal with the papers because you can just um, see. I just have some assorted things here to finish my cards. But we're going to look at all of these so you'll have an idea. So um, let me see. Oh, Iona, you are moving. You watch after you move. Oh, yes, moving. But I hope you're excited about your move. If you're excited, that makes it fun. I always think, I always think it sounds fun to set up a new craft space all over again. Well, this is really bothering me that um, you don't need to see my my belly in there. So I just switched this. <laughs> it's, it's, okay. it's, it's funny when you glance up and see what everyone is seeing. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so this is it, you guys. And then look how easy it is to fold up. It's just one of those cards that look complicated. And then this just has a two inch square. I had a bunch of stitch squares left over from one we used to sell. Ooh. We don't sell that anymore, but that's what I used on this, but any kind of a little square. Next, let's turn one into, oh, you know what? Let's turn this one into a gift bag because I had a, I brought a thing out here for the front of my gift bag. I wonder what I did with it. Oh, it's right here. Cause I thought, let's make this one a gift bag. So I will. And what's, what's really fun is if you do the gift bag, the only thing that's different is that you don't need to decorate the inside. So it's actually uh, faster. Put these on. And I just put this little, little thing on the front. I like it. For you with love. I wanted to point out this stamp set in particular. This is Hydrangea Haven. And I actually was going to do this with this paper. I had a whole different plan here, you guys. This was going to be my thing, and I was going to put it on there. Um, but look, it works on there, too. It all works. It's very nice. Besides being a gorgeous stamp set, what I love about this stamp set, and this is not on the retired list. Um, I, I don't think. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it is. But I wanted to point out the teeny words in here. Thank you. I love you. Congrats. With love for you. Because sometimes you just want to tuck little tiny words. I mean, I just love this. For you with love. And then we just put the tissue paper in here. And we have just a darling little gift. So I thought, where's the other little gift bag? Let's show them side by side on top there. Just the top one. But I thought, that's really fun. 
I really love that idea. So we'll just pretend because I guess I didn't bring enough out. They're all in the other room. But how cute is that? Very nice. Okay. Oh, and then I added a little ribbon. So let me the ribbon out. And where you're going to add the ribbon is right under here. I should. Uh, why don't you just go find a ribbon for me? <laughs> I'll have Tim fetch. We don't even care what ribbon it is. Okay. Uh, you know, we better just do full, full, um, full thing here because I have all these finished cards to show you. That I thought I'm making this. <laughs> okay, so let's do a couple more just to make sure we really have this down. So, if you remember, we're going to do taco fold. Now, who's doing this with me? I think we're all ready now. You've got your paper. Okay, perfect. He's got a little ribbon here. Okay. The first thing we're going to do, and this is the measurement I didn't give you. This is the, the four and a quarter. An easy way to remember four and a quarter is just that's how wide. This is actually a square card. It's four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So should I add that and it's here? also the width. I think that's okay. Uh, it's because we're making a four and a quarter square card is really what it is. And then we'll use Tim's nice thing. Then we're going to score these. So we're going to score at three and a quarter and five and a half. I'm going to flip it over and I'll score at three and a quarter and five and a half. Okay, everyone's got that. And then I have to make sure I can still see my score lines. Just going to fold them up. And I'm not sure if I saw my score line right. I'm probably better off doing this like I did the last time, right on my thing. Okay, this should work. Okay. Oh, no, this didn't work. See, I was guessing. I couldn't see my score line. There it is. <laughs> Go by my score line, not what I'm doing. Okay, Much better. oh, the joys of life. But this is what you're looking for. Um, uh, oh, because Stephanie has a great idea. She watches back later and does a rerun and puts it on a slower speed. Because <laughs> that's just great. I love that. Because I do work fast in addition to talking fast. <laughs> I was going to say, Karen works at su such a slow speed anyway. <laughs> no, everything I do in life, I said... That looks um, like origami. And Rhonda said she's glad that I'm using a planer paper this time, too, to just see the difference. This might be easier to see. You're right than on the busier. And then remember, we oh, so I can cut this out, but I'm going to go ahead because it really doesn't matter. Let's just do this first because then we'll see. You know how we're just going to take these and turn them into squares, which is so cool. It's just these two flaps. So we're turning them into squares. And then you'll see, I want to fold this down, but it's not going to go all the way down. I've got to cut out these corners because, see, it will fold at. Um, see, it'll fold like this. So I need, so I'm doing this on purpose to show you this is the part right here that you want to cut out. Does that make sense? Because when I talked earlier, I talked about when it's like this, you can see it. We're going to cut it out. But I thought it's okay to do it like that because then you totally see. You won't get too far without realizing, oh yeah, that's what I want to cut out. So we're just going to cut these two corners. This is fun to make things that look like, oh my goodness. I actually called this um, 10 minutes to wow, but believe me, this doesn't even take 10 minutes. But I just thought no one would believe me if I put five minutes. So your first card might take you 10. After that, you can do them in five. Because now you'll see it. And sometimes one of these, here's what I do to decide which one goes on top. I try them both and see which way lays that the best. That, that one. one. Yeah. Because sometimes, you know, we're just a little off, so that's fine. Next, I would put my ribbon on. Okay. Right and here. I was going to say it isn't the right color, but hey, it works because it's gray there. Yeah, I know. I, I, I did say get any. I was just going to say <laughs> I might not leave it on, but it actually works because it goes with the wood grain. <laughs> right? Oh, I no, knew I'm, that. Hey, I'm not That's complaining. Oh, you knew it was the right one. Actually, and remember, so a ribbon saving, a ribbon tying trick. Well, number one, not ribbon saving trick, is to leave it on the roll and then just figure out how much you need. I had way too much, so I changed that. As I am going to tie my ribbon, keep that finger. My trick is to keep my right hand still. 
and just bring the left. Just let the ribbon go where it wants. And you see how it just tucks right in there and you end up getting a nice, pretty knot. Has it ever not worked out, worked out or does it always? Oh, I've redone a few, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but that's life. But, but it's kind of the way to make it so it works well. So there's my ribbon and I'm just gonna tuck that in, tuck that back and decorate. So I can put my two inch square on here. Okay, does that make sense? And if you want, a bunch uh, of this too. Oh, and then I have my choice. This is the point at which you can decide. You can decorate this and then do I want it as a gift package or do I want to put the insides in? Okay. <laughs> Stephanie wish list <laughs> telling hubby to fetch a matching ribbon with a passable result. Uh, yeah, that's passable result. Yes, he's good at that. <laughs> uh, so I think this is really fun. Susan worked along and it came out right. Okay, that's fun. Um, where are you tucking on the sides? Okay, I'm going to do, let's try one in slow motion and then I have a whole bunch to show you. Okay. Here we go again. Since it's slow motion, maybe I should do it. <laughs> you can if you want to. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do my taco fold. Now this is going to be slow motion. And you can already see that that one's a little off, but we don't care. Fun fold cards are very forgiving. Or I can fix it now. Now remember, I'm going to do four and a quarter because that's how wide my card is going to be. So I'm going to pour it there. And this time I'm going to fold each one as we go along. Okay, so now your card will look like this. Okay, now, so first we had the fold over here. Now we're going to put the fold over here because we're going to score this way. And we're going to score at three and a quarter and five and a half. Okay, and I'm going to fold these. I'm going to fold on that one, I'm going to fold on that one, I'm going to burnish them a little. Okay. Are we doing so far so good? Um, let's see. I've, sometimes it's hard to read. I do go back and read all the comments. Sometimes it's hard to stay up, stay up on them when we're going along, but I'm sure you guys understand that. Okay, and then I'm gonna do that and fold this. So this is what my card looks like and I'm done with all my scoring. Now I think I'll come and cut out these little things. So do you see how that's fol folded there and it's folded here and that gives me these two little corners? This is the part I'm cutting out right here. So I'm gonna come through and just snip that out. This is the same thing we do a lot when we do boxes and sometimes you know we'll snip off the squares at the end. This is very similar. So it's just to get the fold how we want. But I think it's amazing that there's no adhesive needed on this, you know, that. And this is the only cutting. Other than that, we're using the whole piece of paper and we're showing both sides. Okay, so far so good? There. So mm. now it's gonna look like this and you can see that this will fold in Ooh, somewhere. I like that. Now we need to make the fold for this to go in. And how we're gonna do that is take this triangle right here. Mm -hmm. I'll stick my finger in and open it up and press the seam flat and right to the middle, right along that fold line. So it's going right in there. So we're going to, well, it's like a sideways square. Like so it really it. is like a square like that. Okay, does that make sense? And you can see that's where the pocket is. But we can't really, it's not going to look good to have that. So no. we need to do it to both. So one of these is just tucked under the other. So we're just making them the same. Same thing, I'm going to put my finger in. I'm going to put that in the middle. And I can already tell, you know, and this paper was a little off when I did it the first time. I think this one's better. Okay. It so is. This one is going to go on top. This one is going to go in here. And now I'm going to add my ribbon, tuck that in. And let's find the finished one of this. It's in the, uh, get the whole basket there. It's this top one. We'll look at this. Well, here's, the, here's the finished one. Same thing. Oh, I will. Someone asked to see the ribbon again. So I'll do the ribbon again too. But isn't that fun? This is the same paper that my card kits are out of this month, the Symbols of Fortune. I love this paper. I'm trying to write down and remember the names of the paper. Okay, I'll take the ribbon again. And when I do the ribbon, I actually put it under here. Then I close this up 
so I kind of know exactly what I'm working with here. So this is what I want. And I'm right-handed, so sorry if you're left-handed. Do you see when I, here's, here's my ribbon, and this just, I'm leaving like this. They just go under like this. So I'm going to just hold that so it's ready to loop. When I do my second loop, I'm just gonna hold my right ribbon and pull with my left. And you'll see how you start seeing, and that's where you know if you're doing it right, you start seeing that top part that looks so pretty. That takes the center stage there. That's what you want. So if you're left-handed, you'd do it the opposite? Probably just the opposite. <laughs> but I would think it's probably very confusing watching somebody who's right-handed. <laughs> Um, no, you don't tuck the sides into each other now. Because now when I open this, see, this is just on top. This one's just, they're hidden. But this is what's fine. Now we're going to look at all these finished ones and see how they're finished inside. So you open this. And I just finished them differently. And I thought, isn't that fun? So again, this just has another cutout. Here, I use some extra paper like the front. So I did that off. And depends on how much you want to write. You have two squares here that you can do your message on. So you have lots of room to write or add other things or put in a photo. This would be fun for a photo. And it just has a really fun look. Um, <laughs> Stephanie says she loves fun folds when they're presented without using mind boggling, life changing and such. Yeah, I'm not an over the top person. <laughs> I, I just love what we do, but I'm, I'm way more understated. So, yeah, so I love it. Uh, great comment. Okay. I wouldn't give them to Tim. He can refold them or not, but I'll refold a couple, but let's just look at a few more while we're here. Cause we did a whole bunch of these. Okay. So here is the artfully composed. And then I also love to hear what your favorite are. And you guys will dig up all kinds of paper. It doesn't need to be stamping up and it can be older, retired papers, anything. And even the same paper packs, you can do the same card or you could pick a different, you know, every um, paper pack has six different designs. Well, 12, cause it's two sided, but six different designs. So each, each paper pack could do totally six different ones. So whatever you choose to do is just so fun. But I love how fun these are to open. And let me drop this one down and it's, hey there, happiest birthday wishes. And because this was so plain on the inside too, you know, I just chose to do these. So then these are, uh, let's see, four, uh, they might be four inches or three and a quarter. I don't know. It'll, it'll be on my blog. You just go a little bit down further if you want the other one. Um, and then they really are easy. To even pack back even on. I okay, can I'll pass that to you. Our next one. Oh, here's another one. I did the heart and home in the green on the other. I love this with the butterflies. Look how pretty this is. Mm. This is another one from Heart and Home. And I just think that is a really fun look. And we're going to open this one. Mm. How fun is that? Fun birthday cards. And of course, you could tuck in a little gift card. You could easily do something like that. Oh, Kim just said that. Use it for gift card holder. Yes, you could absolutely do it. Um, will it fit into an envelope? Uh, do you want to get a, just one of my regular card envelopes? Yep. And we shall see. Otherwise, something like this, I think, is worth the extra little postage that we'd be. I need to remember to check on the envelopes. But then Tim makes a great errand runner, so he doesn't mind. So that's all good. Here is Expressions in Ink, another favorite, favorite paper. And then <laughs> Nisa says a person receiving may not know how to fold it back. They may not, but if they don't, they're still going to be really impressed. It is a wow card in that I think people say, how in the world did you do that? They just won't get it at all. Look how fun that is. Being awesome is just your thing. I love the stamp set too. It has all kinds of different sayings. But isn't that fun? So if I didn't want to see it, so if I didn't have something else to put up there, I just put pretty papers, but you could add whatever. Um, and it does kind of, you know what, if someone gets it and doesn't know how to fold it, my tip would always be ask an eight year old. <laughs> They'll know how to fold it right away. It's just, we study things and start wondering, you know, whoa, I'm gonna drop these. Okay, here we have the wild cats, which is also disappearing. By the way, all of these papers are retiring the ones like this one won't be retiring until end of June because it's in the 
um, the spring catalog, but the ones in the regular catalog are all retiring. So this is the time to get them. Okay. Yeah, this is it. Let's just see if one does fit because it should be about this width, but I think you're going to want to go a little, it's, it would be a tight fit. It will fit. You probably pay a little extra postage, especially the ribbon will do it. To me, it's worth a little extra postage. Um, and I would put also a little extra. You now we put a little piece of paper over this to help hold the ribbon um, flatter under there. That. that also really helps. But someone can tell us. But sometimes, I mean, a wow card is worth it um, to send the other. Okay, so here's the Wildcats. And again, I do a lot of just cutting out of the paper for some quick little accents. And I think this is really a fun one. I think this is a fun stamp set for guys' cards, for kids' cards. Have a wild birthday. And, if that, and then you'd write up here. I actually meant to reverse these, which is interesting, because I was going to put this at the top and then right below. But either way, either way works. Yeah, it is a bulkier card, but that's okay. You know, it's a full sheet of paper in here, so it's what we would usually use for two cards. But because it is kind of a statement card, this is probably not what you're going to make 40 cards out of. But although I could see making 40 tea favors for a lunch out of it if you do the you know the lunch thing and I think cards like this even like this would be fun if you're um a giving card to a kid and it's in person you can still tuck their gift card and stuff in there and then tell them to keep on opening and they'll just think it's fun to open open the card and see more you know for for Hank he's collecting baseball cards yeah it'd be perfect put in baseball and baseball you could do a baseball card. theme folder like that and that would just be a whole you know, I love how we can personalize these things to what we were doing. Yeah, like shower, shower favors. Yep, or holiday tables. Here's another hand pen paper. Oh, this paper is so stunning and it's leaving. It's in the new catalog, but again, just a little fussy cutting. And I think this is so pretty. And this is just a fun thanks. Yeah, it's 11 by 11, so you're cutting off an inch. It won't work if you leave it 12 by 12. So you just want 11 by 11, and then you end up, the finish size is going to be four and a quarter square. So that's why it will fit just barely. Or you can use a square envelope, you know, to, so whatever you want to do. So are you enjoying seeing all of these different ones? I thought I just kind of go a little crazy, and they'll be all be on my blog, either later today or tomorrow. I love this too, Bloomer, you're planted. It's leaving the end of this month the paper and I think the stamp set too. I just think this is so fun to open. And in there, wishing you happiness this special day will bring. So again, very fun and we just have the plant along the brick wall. So you know, this is to help you use up some of your stash. And I do love that you're seeing both sides, you know, so you're gonna pick something where you're going to like the contrast. And then our last, no, we've got two more. I did one of these. We did, um, I think we did our pocket card like this before. So this is just another way of finishing it off. And we'll open this one. And I just love this inside. Do you see how this is fussy cut? I fussy cut that out of the, it's a little thank you. And that's from the same, the little things you do make such a big difference. I just think that is so, just a sweet, sweet card. And a well, DSP kind of leaves every year, so you never want to wait on DSP. What makes it fun, I know I miss some of mine, so sometimes I'll get an extra of ones that I want to have. But what does make it fun, new papers makes everything new again, and I love papers. And everything that I teach, you can use your older DSP with, so it doesn't matter. You don't need to have, you know, I'm showing a dozen cards today, and we're using probably 11 different papers. You don't need to have any of these to make this card, and that's what I like. And Whenever you use a different card, a different paper, it's going to look different. And here we have the butterfly again. I love the butterflies for accents. And this is the In Symmetry, which is going the end of this month. Nice, fun spring color. All day your way. So I hope you have fun. I like to hear which ones you like best. And then, no, come on over to the Back Porch Stampers and share what you're making. This is the challenge for this week to do either, either the gift part or, or the card part. And thank you so much for spending this time with us. We appreciate you guys so much. Uh, have a nice weekend. Oh, and by the way, I do have the retired list up. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to call me or message me. If you need help with ordering, give me a call. 
and um, and the new colors have been announced. And I'm, you know, I really am going to miss the old colors, especially Misty Moonlight. But I'm always excited to add new colors. It's like adding new papers. You add new colors, and it makes all of your color palettes different by introducing one new color. So. I find it all exciting. So have a wonderful weekend. Love you guys. Say goodbye to March. Yes. Well, yeah. next week's still March, Tim, isn't it? Oh, that's right. I'm a <laughs> I am. He's so anxious for my birthday. I, I am. Think that's a, I okay. am. 